I don't fight the fear. I just let it come in and I say something like, hello, fear. Well, you and I are kind of old friends by now. We've known each other a long time. Might as well come in and sit down and make yourself at home. And while you're doing that, you can do what you do. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my resources to be so well prepared that if I find myself feeling I'm suddenly in an unfamiliar situation as a speaker, I'll be able to fall back on my landmarks, understanding, creating keywords for myself that will let me track where I am and to talk more naturally about the subject. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Just taking a few little keywords and, and carving them out of the talk that will help me to feel more excited about what I'm speaking about so that you can feel excited about it. Doing the, the amount of practice I need, using the video and audio tools I have on my phone or my laptop to record myself and to look at it sensibly and realistically. What do I need to fix? How's my eye contact? How's the tone of my voice? How are my hand gestures? How's my overall body language? Am I interested, uh, interesting enough to keep the audience listening? And getting feedback from a knowledgeable and preferably impartial third party. What I'm saying here is, as it says at the line below, is don't lean too heavily on the opinions of your family and friends. Why? I know you love them, and I know they love you, but that's the whole point. They may love you so much that they may actually lie to keep from saying anything constructive that they think is going to hurt your feelings. 